safely through so far in the men's singles. And that, of course, includes three former champions. Chen Long, as we've just seen, safely through. But as Steen Peterson was saying, just three minutes shy of the hour mark for that victory for the reigning Olympic champion. We turn our attention now to men's doubles, and it's the former world junior champions, Han Cheng Kai and Zhao Hao Dong, up against the Polish pair of Milas Bolczak and Adam Spadina. So as far as the draw is concerned, this is the top section of the draw, and waiting the winner of the match we're about to see is the number one seeds, Gideon and Sukamolio. They've won four titles already this year. Also in this section is the former All England champions, number 10 seeds this year, Ivanov and Sozanov. So a very strong section of the draw. And it is the Chinese youngsters Han Cheng Kai and Zhao Haodong up against Milos Balchuk and Adam Svalina. So the Chinese youngsters won their world junior title two years ago in Bilbao in Spain. And they're making their first appearance at the World Senior Championships for the Polish combination. Well, they only formed their partnership after the Rio Olympic Games when uh, Premislav Vacha retired because he used to play with Adam Svelina. And Vacha is here, I understand, as a coach. China, so that's very apt with the toss of the BWF coin. Black shirts called black and the Chinese pair in red shirts called the red side. And I believe it was the Polish combination who won the toss of the coin. So very talented individuals, these two Chinese youngsters. And we're looking at Han Cheng Kai, who is 20 years of age from Fujian province. His partner, there he is, Zhao Haodong, also 20 years of age from Xixiang province on the east coast of China. And he, in fact, was in two finals at the World Championships two years ago. Not only gold in the, the boys' doubles, but silver in the mixed doubles as well with you. You are Xian. So for them, this is a new experience. We've actually gone up three places in the world ranking this week to 24, which is a career high for these two players. They've won one title this year. That was the China Super 100 event. And they, every time I watch them play, seem to be getting better and better. So to the Polish combination and Milos Balcha. 22-year-olds from Bygotsted in northern Poland. And his partner is an old hand at these world championships. He's making his sixth appearance at a world championship, but first with his partner of today, Adam Spalina. First time he played in the World Championships was in Madrid in 2006. 33 years of age, as you can see. And he's had wonderful partnerships, both with Nico Logos and, as I was telling you, Premisar Vacha. In fact, with Vacha, they reached 33 international tournament finals, winning 21 of them. It has to be said, it wasn't the highest tier of tournaments that they participated in, but certainly when you play those number of tournaments and get to that number of finals, then your confidence is going to be sky high. So Bauha, the least experienced of the two Polish players. They're both tall athletes, they're both 186, six foot one. And part just asking the court officials to make sure that all the perspiration is mopped up from the court surface. Hidetomo Kashahara from Japan is our umpire for this one. 
Ogunas Lesferis from Latvia will be the service judge. So the players seem to be just about settled. Just waiting for umpire. Ladies and gentlemen, Kashihara. on my right, Adam Swarina, Milos Bocan, Poland. And on my left, Han Chiangkai, So Haudong, China. Adam Swaina to sub to Han Chiangkai, Labo. So the most experienced man on courts, Adam Svalina, getting this first round men's doubles underway. Oh, good smash from Boha. And there's former partner with the blue shirts, Boha. And Steen, I was saying that Adam Svalina has had two very successful partnerships, first of all with uh, Michael Logos and then with oh. Premise Park Vacha. And they're both there. And they're both there. Both courtside. I'm not sure I've actually seen this Polish player in combination before, so. No, I haven't seen them. Both you and I, as we look at the Chinese coaching bench, have seen this young Chinese pair a couple of times, and I was saying they're hugely talented. And it's typical of a, a Chinese coaching decision that you have one very solid player that quite often does the work from the back of the court and a, a slimmer, more agile player at the front of the court. Yeah, it's very often seen. Yeah. Wasn't the best of serves from Bacha. No, no, it was a low serve. It was a long <laughs> serve. It was a bit short. <laughs> Probably uh, world championship nerves. Yeah, that, that would be understandable. Three, oh. Three. Starting to build a tradition in Poland for good doubles players. Mostly male and mixed doubles. Well, in fact, uh, the best performance, I think, in the championships was two quarterfinals by mixed pair, Matuziak and Ziba. And also, the exact same pair also reached the quarterfinals of the Olympics. That's right. For the records, they reached the quarterfinal. That makes doubles pair in 2007 in KL and 2013 in, here in China in Guangdong. Guangdong province, of course, Guangzhou was the city. Five, four. It's always something about moving fast and fast flat game exchanges with those Polish pairs. I think there's uh, some with these two as well. Rally, yes, and the celebration from Stalina. Do you think it's entirely wise to use the flat game in this particular matchup? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> well, I was I going through my so. head that you know, you said Five. that. The Polish pairs. They always play like that. They always play like that, but yeah. I'm, I'm not 
That's why I asked the question. I'm right. not convinced that's the way to play no. against this young Chinese no, pair. No, they, they're taking him on. They're taking the Chinese pair on where they normally are the best. Yeah. Um, but I suppose they're very influenced by it. they've had um, um, Korean coach in, um, in Poland. I think they've also, also had um, some Chinese coaches. So a lot of influence uh, that way in terms of playing. Uh, Nice flat game. Yeah, so England's Anthony Clark spent some time in Poland as well, didn't he? He was the coach yeah. during the Olympic Games in yeah. Rio. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I think that was only a part-time position. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, he wasn't I, working on an everyday basis. No, it? so the influence of the Chinese coach and the Korean coach has had a, a bigger impact. Yeah. yeah. So if that could be combined with... Um, a little bit more um, tactical approach from uh, from some European um, coaches that, that would uh, spell trouble for a lot of um, pairs. Hey. Wow. Yeah. Didn't like the way that Han Chen Kai took that one off the top of the tape. chat going on between the two players, Polish players. Yeah. That's also a sort of uh, oh, hey. hallmark for Seven, Polish doubles. Uh, I remember sometimes seeing uh, Mikhail Logos when he was playing with Matusha. It, it looked like they were really in an argument on court. <laughs> That is fantastic. What a net shot from Gao Hamdong. It takes some guts Seven. to play it when your opponent is standing directly in front of you. You've got to be inch perfect. Oh. That flick serve. Talk is amongst the players that, um, that China is ahead of um, the other countries in terms of using these um, new service rules to their advantage to to, sh to serve these um, flat serves that are now um, sort of um, being allowed. I th still think they, it was possible with the old service rules to to. Um, Serve a really flat service. It was just. It seemed like it wasn't allowed by the service judge. So yes. if, if it was flat, then it would be folded. So it's a three point advantage for the Chinese combination of Han Cheng Kai and Xiao Haodong in the mid game interval in the opening game. Oh, it's a lovely change of pace. There's the power play, then the interception, and a delightful little block there. From Chen Kai. Well, very animated in the coaching break there. Logos and Vacha. And I heard one English word, attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be varied attack, I don't, I think. Steen, is that one? Yeah, and definitely, and, and in my opinion, also preferably steep attack. Um, got to stay in balance. Nine, eleven. Fast coming forward, the Chinese Five. youngsters. Just 
two consecutive finals at World Junior Championships, this Chinese combination. Five is over. Ten, twelve. In fact, I've just got that wrong. No, they were bronze medalists in 2015. It was the Asian Championships, Junior Championships, where they were in two consecutive finals. There's a lot of flick serves, Steve. Yeah. But, um, if you can serve a, a really good flick serve, then you're probably at an advantage because, I mean, in the flat game exchange, would you stand there in the, the first service line? I don't think so. It's gone long. Well, you and I have discussed at times, Steen, the fact that men's doubles has been very short rallies because there's been so much pressure on the low serve and uh, the return of serve. There's been discussions for as long as I've been in badminton about whether you should get away, get rid of the double service line so that players couldn't pounce on the low serve. Well, I think this new rule where they've done away with the racket must be pointing in a downward direction, I think it's having the same desired effect. What do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. To an extent? To an extent. Um, I think if you get, if you get to where you can't stand on the front service line, we actually saw... Um, Zhao Haodong? Yeah, standing a little back. Because um, if you stand entirely uh, in, in front, then just behind the line, then you're at a disadvantage now. Look at his feet now. Yeah, we don't see it, unfortunately. There he is. So, um, in, in many ways, it will have, it will benefit um, the, the longer rallies a little bit, but but uh, it will still be fast flat exchange uh, yeah. that that starts out with so um, a bit of a dogfight, so to speak. So. I'm, I'm still waiting for for a pair to um, to work on their defense so that it's possible to to play a little bit uh, more patient and it seems to have been totally out since um, uh, a player like Lee and Day since since he um, decided to take a break from uh, international events. yeah Not so much for our theory about this wasn't the right way to play for the Polish pair because they're in the lead and move forward. Look at that. So level one's more. Moved the Polish players, outmaneuvered them. That's oh, nice play by the former World Junior Champions. Yeah, well, they're both way out of position. Yeah, and, and uh, a rally like this perhaps explains a little bit the discussion. In the interval about the attack because it seems like <laughs> defense is not an option yeah. for um, Shalina and Bocha. That must have hit the top of the table. Oh. It was difficult to see from here. Yeah, it did. Yeah. It did. Almost unreturnable. Oh. 
Tommy Silva. That was nervous. Yeah. 15. Borja, first service error of the match, I think. Rally. 16 all. Mios. Yeah. Boca. Right. Oh, good service return. Mm. Yeah, it was lovely with the angle, wasn't it? Down towards the tram line. Oh, quick down. Quick down. that flick serve you've got to expect the shuttle coming back quickly you've got to be ready for it oh. uh, was very 19, very nice play from oh. well Svelina just showing the umpire the shuttle he thought was distorted well, the umpire says to play on And he got his little break. Anyway. Oh, yes, that's super play. And the fans absolutely loving that. Three straight points to give three game point opportunities former world junior champions. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice. That well saved. 18, 20. Hey. Game points well saved. It's highly entertaining. Everybody's going all out here. Yeah. Oh my goodness, man. Well, a serve that really wasn't a flick and really wasn't. And anything serving, it got what it deserved. So on a third game point opportunity, Han Ching Kai and Zhao Haodong take the opening game. 21-19 in 18 minutes. Yeah, 
So the court attendant's been very particular about trying to remove all the little bits of feather from the court surface. And I couldn't agree with you more, Steen. This has been court highly one, entertaining so far. Court one, 20 seconds. And to think the winner of this match will uh, meet probably the most entertaining pair in world badminton at the moment, Gideon Lovell. and Sukumolio. The Fast and the Furious yes. part two. <laughs> oh, and in the same One. quarter, Love. we have um, the informed pair of Kimura and Sonoda. That, that's, uh, that's an explosive first quarter. Yeah. Add to that the former All England champions, Ivanov and Sosanov, same quarter. One, oh. He's playing in team Five. matches in Denmark, Adam Schwalina. Not in the uh, badminton league, but in the uh, first division just below it. Along with Two. a few other Polish players One. and Adam Mendrik, who is also played in this tournament here in men's singles. Yes, in fact, he was first match on today, wasn't he? Yeah. Against Shi Yu Chi. Do they commute? Two, yes, oh. they do. Yeah. Continual oh, oh. flat exchanges. Yeah, and he should know that. Uh, and that um, it was going to happen that it would be a, a flat shot, and he could be the target of that. Because, I mean, it's not like they've kept any secrets uh, from each other, these two pairs. Five, four. They also could have a little bit of uh, world championship nerves playing on home soil, playing the first. Is it their first? It is. Yeah. It's certainly, I kind of doubt whether they played in uh, Glasgow. Oh, good anticipation. Good rally. Oh, well taken in the end from oh, Han Chin Kai. Oh. Beautiful, look at that. No hesitation Five. at all. Sensing that he was being very meticulous in not lifting his uh, left arm there. Six, five, three. Five, 
Yeah. Wow! Tommy Silva. Cheeks. Oh. We had some good pictures in the uh, interval, actually, where we saw the service movement in close-up, and we could see that the players still lift the left arm. And in my opinion, that makes it extremely hard for the service judge to decide whether it's um, below that line that um, is at 115 centimeters of height. Oh, well taken again. I've been more and more impressed. I was impressed with them at the Indian Open earlier this year, Steve. This young Chinese pair reached the semi final, and on the way they beat Bo Morganson, number yeah, two did. seeds, and Pratama and Saputro. It's also. Um, it's it's going to be so interesting to see what's going to happen with these young Chinese. Uh, Men's doubles coming forward now. This pair here, they have a pair uh, that's also played some international um, tournaments. Sijan and um, his partner, I've forgotten his partner's name, but they just won the Asian Junior Championships here. Yeah. That, that's the players coming up, being inspired by um, Fu Haifeng and uh, Chai Yun. Yeah. So they will have seen so much good men's doubles whilst they were coming up as youngsters. And, um, it's going to be really interesting to see it is what going they can to be, do. It is going to be interesting. And, of course, China have only had three different pairs to win gold at the World Championships in the men's doubles discipline. Of course, they've won seven gold medals. Bing because and and, uh, they won it twice, and then Chao Yun and Fu Haifeng four times, and, of course, the reigning champions. Liu That's Chang right, Liu Chang 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 Chang. Yeah. Just missed it. So, to the mid-game interval. With a four-point advantage. Nice idea. They just overdid it. Yep, good call, line judge. Chen Chi Chu, two Chinese coaches. Incidentally, Steen, um, it's going to be interesting, even more interesting for all these young Chinese men's doubles pair, but because at World Championships, men's doubles is the discipline where China has done the worst out of all five yeah. disciplines. 174 medals in total for China and only only 18 in men's doubles. Yeah, then that's... I was not sure about the numbers, but that's what you sense from... Yeah. They struggled for many years to find the uh, successes of um, Yongbo and, uh, and Bingyi. Eventually, Chai Yun and uh, Fu Haifang emerged. And when they first emerged, they decided to stay there for quite some years. Yeah. Um, got to try and do something with that return of serve. He knows anything that's a little bit loose will be severely punished. He's actually forcing himself into error. Well, they've been five straight points. Chats racket. Yeah. Not used to uh, playing 
this level. That's one left. Nine fourteen. Oi. Quite uh, confident. Jung Jun and uh, Chen Chu. Yeah. Oh, they skimmed over the net. Nine. Was there a little movement in the shuttle there? I, I know that some of the Danish players are trying to emulate. Um, Kevin Sukamulio in, in getting to the shuttle to uh, dive really quickly after the net um, in a legal way. Yes, and I think there's a number of men's doubles players experimenting with that. that rally that uh, Bocha and Schwalina when they play their best they can match Han and um, Joe they're just not able to consistently play their best yeah oh I like that little block from Russia. yeah 17 so I mean there's definitely potential in, yeah. in that um, Polish double there because the more you play in this pace, the more confident you get, the better choices you get. And my pace. It's a nice chance saloon now for the Polish pair. Yeah, I, I think it's closed, that saloon. <laughs> I, I think it's too late. <laughs> I think it's too late. Well, you never know, Steve. No. You never know. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It was, again, this cross-court block. Yeah. It's been very efficient. I think they should have had the first game in order to sort of... Going and keep their opponents a little bit nervous. That's yeah, a good rally. Not possibly one of the longest of the match. We're two points away from a place in the second round for this young Chinese combination. One point away. 20, first point, 11. That's okay. long and wide. So the match to Han Cheng Kai and Zhao Hao Dong. former world junior champions in their first world championship safely through the first round and their reward a match Much against the current Hans world Hans number ones Hans Gideon and Sukumolio so the umpire just confirming the score 21-19 21-11 in a match lasting just 33 minutes